Hi you guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in the middle of working on my first Christmas journal and it's going very slowly for me. It's it's constant work and I don't want to bore you with the slow process that it is for me. I don't know how people make these things quickly except with maybe practice. So I thought I would come on today and show you something that I've made in the past that I hadn't shown you yet. This idea came from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. It was months ago that I made this and so I would not be able to find her video, I am quite sure. But just know that if you go over and watch Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah, she does this sort of thing quite a bit. So um, you can get ideas from her there. It's made out of a file folder and it's it has several envelope flippies here and then um, a small journal here. I don't remember how I made it, but I'm sure I could figure it out just by kind of looking at it. So the front here, the front cover of the of the small journal is um, tied closed with string and then it has envelopes that flip out. So here on the front, I've got lace, and then there's a, an, an image here of people riding, um, it looks like a bicycle pulled by a, I mean a wagon, a little wagon type thing pulled by a bicycle. Kind of cute. I used all the same paper pack in this. So, so then you open it up and you have stuff on the inside. So there's a little journaling, journaling card on the inside. And then here I have a dress form on the front and some lace down the side. And inside this envelope, it's another journaling card, upside down. Some Tim Holtz bits on there. And then this envelope here, more Tim Holtz um, on the front with some lace. And then you open and there's a piece of folded up paper on the inside. It's all uh, new to me because it's been so long since I've done this that I don't really remember. <laughs> so, and then I'm, I'm, I'm sure these were Tim Holtz things here. And then this one here, uh, again, I... I don't know, Tim Holtz, I imagine. There's some little, you know, fake little diamond things up at the top and some lace. Let me open this one. And we have some journaling cards. And then this was a telegram page that I cut in half and made two cards out of it. I just, uh, um, I glued, no wait. Maybe this was a double-sided paper. I feel like I made this because I have these. Yeah, I'm sure I did. So I just cut them in half and made them into cards. Again, it's been a long time, so it's hard to remember. This is really pretty, a really pretty paper pack, and it has all of these images inside the paper pack. Okay, here there's... um one of those mail um, envelopes that, for junk mail that I put a little lady there on the inside. I don't know if it's on the card. It is, so when you open it up, I should back that envelope so it's not blue behind there. Anyway, so I just positioned her so you could see her through the, um, through the window. Put a little lacy flower there and lace down the side. Lacy trim here. So there she is. And then this one, again, same thing. I just positioned somebody there where, you know, there was something interesting in the, in the window there. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. So again, all of these things came from one paper pack. I'm pretty sure I got it at Hobby Lobby. And then here, there's a large journaling card. And 
And then you can put something here. I'm pretty sure the cover was made from one file folder that's folded in half because I can see, you know, this right here is file folder and they're stitching. So I, I sewed the file folder together. Yeah. Okay, so then when you close it up, you just, you know, close it this way. And then you open and you have coffee dyed paper on the inside. And I didn't do any embellishing on this as far as I can remember. It's just all for journaling. smell the coffee. Okay, and then the back side and then on the back there's another journaling card from the pocket that's created from folding the file folder in half. So then the spine here I don't know what's happening here. Oh, it's just the envelope where it's not attached. So um, after having made it one time, I know that I would need to do more reinforcement at the bend of some of the envelopes. Some, you know how some envelopes are very um, thin? And so I would know to, to do that, you know, reinforcing. And then I feel like it's so close to the the, the book, you know, it's hard to get to things, so I would probably make my opening quite a bit bigger if I were to do it again. Anyway, I just thought that was an adorable little thing that she made, and I don't remember if it took me a long time to make it or not, but it certainly is fun. And I think that I will use this myself. I really want to start journaling, and so I might use this for myself to start doing that. Hope you guys like it and I'm thinking that probably in about a day or so I should have my first Christmas journal finished so I can show it to you um, and then we can move on to something else. I'm thinking constantly about what to make videos um, of and it's hard. I'm, I'm the kind of person that likes to get a project done before I start on another one and so because I mean my desk is covered with Christmas stuff so it's really hard to know or, or how people can do several projects at one time I I need to let my control freak mind <laughs> stop controlling and just do but it, it's really hard for me anyway I hope you enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye